Let me tell you about food state vitamins. Many years ago, impeccable research in reputable scientific journals confirmed that every one of us benefits from taking the right kind of vitamin supplements. One excellent study in the Journal of the American Medical Association found that women who take over-the-counter multivitamins in the first month of pregnancy dramatically reduce their risk of giving birth to a neurologically damaged child. Now, this is important because neural tube defects are amongst the most horrible and common birth defects. They cause everything from death to paralysis in the child, and they affect between one and two babies in every thousand births. The study was carried out under the directions of Obery Milunski, director of Boston University's prestigious Center for Human Genetics. It involved 23,000 women, half of whom took multivitamin pills, and they contained, amongst other things, folic acid, a B vitamin group, in particularly high demand, of course, during pregnancy. The results were astonishing. The incidence of neural tube defects in babies born to the women who took the supplements was less than a quarter of what it was amongst those women who did not. In fact, so remarkable were these results that they shook to the core FDA officials who had insisted for generations that taking nutritional supplements is not only unnecessary, but, believe it or not, can actually cause damage to our health. Nevertheless, the FDA and Codex continue, and they do it now, to propagandize the ridiculous idea that, quote, nutrition has no significance for health, unquote. And the notion that if vitamins and minerals are allowed on the market, they should be permitted only in ultra-low doses. Well, as a result, clinically effective nutrients are month by month being treated as, quote, toxins, unquote. The levels of nutrients that they contain are being reduced, and many have already been removed from public access in one country after another. Now, There is a wonderful way around all this, which I strongly urge you to explore. Shun chemically made vitamins, which means 90% of the vitamins that you see on the market, and take instead food state nutrients. You see, most vitamins that you buy in shops or online are made from synthetic chemicals. They've been manufactured in a laboratory in a futile effort to match the molecular structure of naturally occurring vitamins and minerals that are found in your foods. As a result, they tend to be full of chemically made stuff. Your body has been designed to absorb vitamins and minerals from the foods you eat. Man-made synthetics can never match natural molecular structures and in no way are they the same. Our bodies don't handle synthetics very well, so you could be taking a high-potency man-made synthetic multiple that somebody has recommended for you, yet not effectively absorbing the vitamins and minerals that it contains. This is a major reason why I am passionate about whole food natural vitamins and minerals. Good manufacturers of whole food vitamins usually grow most of the botanicals that go into their food state formulas. Using state-of-the-art scientific instrumentation, they test, validate, and document the potencies of the raw materials that make up their products using high-performance chromatography for testing potency. They're also careful in how they handle other plant extracts that they add to their supplements. They use a specific system of drying as well, which transfers heat gently and efficiently, removing moisture from delicate foods and botanicals to prevent oxidation of these raw materials. And this helps protect the integrity of the ingredients against any degradation of their nutrient content. It also helps them maintain their color and their flavor. Now, since food state vitamins are biologically natural, you'll often find that the recommended daily serving of some of these products can sometimes be as high as six to eight capsules or tablets a day for you to get the full benefit of what they have to offer. In addition to the common vitamins like, you know, vitamin A and C and D3 and E and K2 and folate and so forth, many food state vitamins also offer extracts taken from plants that are beneficial to your body, like 
an extract of barley grass, for example, or green papaya, as well as things like Ayurvedic herbs and those used in Chinese medicine, oh, rishi, shiitake mushrooms, astragalus, foti, kuzu root, all of this kind of thing. And these are the kind of supplements you may benefit most from using. But you must read labels carefully when looking for a good food state supplement and choose carefully and beware because there are many vitamins on the market that claim to be food state or whole food vitamins but are not top quality. And make sure whatever vitamin mineral complex you choose that it is free from corn, yeast, soya, wheat, and dairy and that it has been formulated without the use of preservatives, artificial flavors, or coloring. Take a look below for some of the food state products that I've personally tested and that I recommend.